good Monday morning. Well, something exciting happened last week. Possibly not exciting for everyone, uh, but the USDA came out with an updated zone hardiness map. Now, in 1960, they put out their first map, and then the most recent one was 2012. But now, here in 2023, they have revised it, and they've been able to use more data than they ever have in the past. Uh, there's like data from over 13,000 weather stations in the U.S. We here at Truly Tropical used to be 10B, and now we are 11A. Uh, a lot of areas in Florida might have changed a little bit also, so there's actually a way that you can look up what zone you're in um, on the internet. So we'll put that link in the description. But when you find out what zone you're in and the average low temperature in the winter, that information could be very helpful in determining what types of especially tropical fruit trees you might be able to grow in your area. So these USDA zones are very useful, but they don't tell the whole story. Uh, you know, for instance, some areas get a quick cold blast and other areas might have longer uh, cold and of course that has different uh, ramifications for your area. Uh, basically use these figures as a guideline but also try to factor in your particular circumstance. For instance the soil, the duration of average cold temperatures and your particular area uh, you might have a microclimate that's quite a bit different from somebody just a mile away.